So the first question is about the name of uh, uh, Kaikado. Sure. Because I noticed that you, because you started at uh, 1875, yes. 144 years ago, yes. and the same year, a very influential Japanese uh, figure mm -hmm. called uh, Fukuzawa Yukichi. Mm -hmm. Fukuzawa Yukichi, the the figure on the on the one on the ten thousand yen. Mm -hmm. He actually wrote a book and outline of the theory of civilization. Mm -hmm. sure. So basically, he translated civilization mm -hmm. using the word. Uh, Gumei Kai Ka. Yes. Is that the origin of why your the 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 Ichidame use this name? Like sure. Kai Ka? yeah. That's the reason. Yes, because uh, at the time a lot of Kai Ka mono, mm. which is like a things of the civilization, things of the Kai Ka, was mm. all over the Japan. Yeah. And one of the uh, that kind of thing was tea container. Was that? Was a tea container, tea caddy. Oh, yes. Yeah. Because it used to be we use the earthenware. Or like a much heavier, like uh, pewter things. So it's easy to break. It's just break and it's kind of heavier. Um. And uh, if it's like a tin seat, we can make it lighter and uh, bigger. I see. That's the beginning part. And uh, before that, like a tea mm. is kind of for like a wealthy people, mm. not the ordinary people. Uh. And around that time, people start drinking in a daily life. I see. That's in for so the ordinary people need a container mm. to keep the tea fresh. Mm. During that time, there's no refrigerator. No refrigerator. So you really need some mm. very air it hides. Yes. Yeah. I think that is the beginning. And yes. so, kind of the uh, uh, very new company at the time. Like a foreign made fashionable tin seat uh -huh. into the tea container. Uh -huh. At the time, it's very new. And so, mm -hmm. now, we already passed about 140 years, mm -hmm. so that means old company, but at the time, very new company. Ah, mm. Okay, so back in the very early, that's that's a uh, Meiji, uh, Meiji, yes, Meiji yes. Era. it's very fashionable for Kakaibo to stand yeah, yeah. selling tin tea caddies. Yes, yes. Ooh, cool. so um, does the design has any change mm -hmm. during during this? Almost one, uh, one half century mm -hmm. time. So, so actually, we never change technique, size, mm -hmm. everything is the same. So something like here, mm -hmm. this is 100 years, 140 years old yeah. container, but mm -hmm. still we can make the exactly same one. I see. And the people bring back 100 years old tea container to fix again right now mm -hmm. and use again. Mm -hmm. That means people buy right now, they will bring back 100 years later. Right. So we have to continue the same things for the next hundred years. Mm -hmm. That's uh, the, you know that's the things we have to do. Okay, cool. So I guess I heard that you actually invented collaborated with Val Brand and mm -hmm. invented some like like this one. Sure. So is that a new design mm -hmm. that brought out by you? And uh, actually, mm -hmm. in my mind, mm -hmm. if I explain in the trees, like the leaves and the flowers are interesting. Yeah. People come and see it. Then people notice there is a trunk mm -hmm. of the tree. So trunk is a tea container, oh. and that these tree and the flowers will be like a coffee caddy mm -hmm. and a club with a Danish design studio. So the, and also the cafe. Yeah, that's the things is, but the, we the trunk is one of the most important things. For I us. see. I noticed that one of the things that more, most attracted to me is mm -hmm. just like you said, mm -hmm. the tea candies do change the color during mm -hmm. during yes. during the age. So and uh, currently you have uh, as far as I know three materials, mm -hmm. which is tin and copper mm -hmm. and brass. Sure. And are they changing differently among the time? Because some uh, seems like tin have the longest mm -hmm. changing period, mm -hmm. right? So, so can, you, can you demonstrate like? Sure. Uh, so I will bring some. Can I bring some candies here? Yeah, it's a the copper one. Mm. It changes from here. Mm. How long does it take? This is about a couple of years, one or two years. One or two years. If you touch and rub every day. Mm. And uh, this is the uh, brass. Hmm. It takes about five to eight years. Wow. So the cooper is the 
like the quickest to 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 have the color change. Then brass has five to ten. Yes. Sometimes it goes to like a, this kind of the pink uh, yellowish color. Mm. Sometimes it goes to the pinkish color like this. So what it happens? depends on the person. Is that the, the humid or? It depends on the food you eat. The food you yeah. eat. So you, if you eat a vegetable more or if you eat uh, meat more. Uh -huh. I think that makes a different. Like your your sweat is gonna be different in acid. acid. Oh. So what would you see the more red one, reddish one? The owner is eating more meat or eating more vegetables. <laughs> Actually, we couldn't oh. we couldn't find out right now. Okay. Because uh, we couldn't continue eat. <laughs> I love to eat meat. Ah, oh, me too. <laughs> and that's, this is the. Uh, yeah, tin changed for yeah. 20 years, 40 years. So this is, uh, the, the shorter one is 10 years. Yeah, 20 years, 20. And on the surface, you can see this kind of pattern mm. on the surface, yeah. which is from the hot lip tin, the, uh, the special material of the tin seat. Ah. That streams, surface, makes this kind of the... So sometimes... different surfaces mm. so you can enjoy the patina as well yeah um i noticed like different from the former generations you mm -hmm. uh Tarkyo-san, as the sixth generation you actually you are thinking and doing in very different ways as your ancestors because mm -hmm. you are more focusing on international mm -hmm. and uh, marketing mm -hmm. part so is that the way you adjust the traditional mm -hmm. Tea Caddy brand into a more lifestyle and mm -hmm. modern brand image? Actually, for me, mm -hmm. it's to selling in a foreign country, mm -hmm. it's very normal for me. So, and also in my grandfather's ages, yeah. he sell in the West Japan, it's to smaller tea shops. Okay. And in my father's ages, he sell to the large, uh, major, like a tea shop. Mm. Tea companies. Yeah. So in my in my time, I just make it wider to the, all over the world, just like that. So I just forget the uh, the border of the country. Oh, mm. I see. And I can speak English, so that's the part. You know, for me, it's just a normal thing. So mm. think, you know, thinking about in Japan, uh, the population becomes smaller. Mm. So in the future, so demand will be smaller. Mm -hmm. But thinking about all over the world, yeah, maybe we can live for a longer time. Definitely. And uh, we try to be small company, mm -hmm. okay. but well known in the world. Ah, cool. But did you notice that? Uh as international retailing, different mm -hmm. countries actually have different culture and they eat different food. Yes. They have different requirements about their daily tools. Sure. So did, how did you adjust your traditional tea caddy to into different yeah, models to, to fit their uh, like fit, fit their daily use? The, for the first things I did, mm. I tried to forget about Japan. Okay. I tried to forget about the tea. Yeah. So I try to use this container, uh, just a container, mm -hmm. to introduce in the world. Mm -hmm. And but I never change anything. Just try to make it, try to make it a different kind of the, uh, introduction. So first time I was in uh, Paris. Yeah. It was about fifteen or sixteen years ago. Oh. Uh, so when you're in your early 20s? And I don't know, I don't know, just about 30. 30? Yes. How old are you now? Uh, 44. Oh, I thought you were like 35, <laughs> no. <you're> 33. <laughs> I'm 40, I have three kids, 16, 30, and 7. Like daughters and sons? Uh, two daughters and son. Are they gonna, are you, are, are you trying to let them to be the future successor of? I, I don't know, I don't know if they want. All I, all I have to do is just prepare for the next generation. Mm -hmm. If they want, then they can do it. Like you say, it's double direction. Yes. 
And uh, I mean, uh, uh, like, I'm not a, the person who make zero to one. Uh, the I'm the, just like a person. It's in the past to the six to seven. Mm -hmm. So all I have to do is to make the base of the next generation. I see. So when I was uh, like, it was like uh, uh, fifteen years ago, like uh, first time I was in Paris. Yeah. I wear like a very Japanese style, not oh. like kimono, but like a samurai. We call it a samurai. Oh, samurai. Yeah. Oh, okay. And then at uh, uh, but every day, mm -hmm. I have to wear the kind of the clothes at the hotel, and I had to walk to the uh, department store. And every day I meet one child, child, and at the third day, he chop, look at me, and uh, mm -hmm. told me like ninja. Ninja. <laughs> so uh, at the time I noticed, oh, I, I don't want to show my carry as a ninja style. Make you feel like your cosplay is not real self, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is not like a, I don't know, Fujiyama geisha, which is like a Fuji, Fuji mountain, like a geisha style. This mm -hmm. is like a normal things yeah. for Japanese people. So yeah. if I can introduce this container to the, uh, the people in Paris as a normal for the daily life, mm -hmm. then we can sell. So yeah. I changed my clothes to the normal wear like this, and then we, then after that, the uh, sales was changed. So I noticed that mean you know, like we need to forget about Japan. Yeah. If you're too much Japan, you know. It's becoming very narrow, right? Mm -hmm. that's, that's a very good mindset. And uh, let me see. History. So tell me about your 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 um, family history. Like, mm -hmm. how did your father, your grandfather, and great grandfather mm -hmm. running this business? Because I heard some people said that uh, the the Nida, mm -hmm. the second generation, mm -hmm. actually is the most uh, most uh, talented or mm -hmm. able craftsman. And every generation actually they have different stories. Because like the the San Dai man, mm -hmm. the uh, Hikuchino san, mm -hmm. actually he he's putting taking this brand through the, the war area and mm -hmm. through the uh, you know the, the second uh, world war mm -hmm. and uh, and also during the economic growth mm -hmm. and uh, tell me about some family history. Sure, actually like uh, Ari, my grandfather's age, which is about uh, fourth generation and also the later third generation. Mm -hmm. that, that is a very hard time for Kekado mm -hmm. because uh, there is a World War Two. Yeah. And uh, our government prohibited us to make because of the material. Mm. And also they asked us to pass over all the iron tools to make the weapons. So my grandfather hide half of the uh, tools under the ground and then pass half to the government. Mm -hmm. And also it, we are prohibited, but we have to still, we have to eat. That means we have to make. So in behind, my grandfather or my great grandfather make the caddy in behind. Secretly. Secretly. Really. <laughs> so and then one day the policeman found it and then they were arrested. Is that a very severe condition? Are they gonna uh, stay in I think jail? it's a, just a one week or something. <laughs> <laughs> and do, do they get like a, 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 a ticket, a fine to, to pay? Yeah, yeah something, something like that. But, mm. And then after the World War II, yeah. we stopped making no worry. Mm. But actually, a lot of machine made one comes from foreign country. Yeah. And after time, Japanese people has moved. Like uh, machine made is a good one, and the foreign made, as a handmade, is old fashioned. Mm. So, we can't sell. Handmade chi container is just old fashioned. So we can't sell. So it. there is uh, like uh, just after Second World War, there was lots of uh, machine made tea caddies, just like. The same shape or mm -hmm. the same similar functions? Same shape, home. but the quality is not good. Oh. So one tea shop asked us if you make a good quality one, we will buy it. Mm -hmm. So then we continue hand making container belt on the scene. And at the same time, we run the pharmacy mm -hmm. in front of our house, and then in behind, we make the. Uh, to support container. your family business? Yes. Wow. And then, and so we still have the uh, like very big uh, kind of signboard mm. of the, uh, the pharmacy. Uh, pharmacy yeah. Wow, I'm gonna take it. <laughs> That's a good story. But it's in, in a warehouse. 
In the warehouse? Yeah. Oh. That was right after the, the World War II. Mm -hmm. Probably the, during the war, it's already very tough conditions yeah, yeah. for you to keep living. And after it, still. although the economic mm -hmm. is booming, but mm -hmm. still, because people changing their My views head. about about craftsmanship, mm -hmm. you're still suffering for, for how long? Like 10 years or 5 years? Uh, I, I, I don't know exactly, but uh, my grandfather mm -hmm. started selling the tea container small to the small tea shop in the West Japan. Try to sell, he bring the caddy, try mm -hmm. to sell in the... In the tea shops? Yes. I see. So always my grandfather go on the uh, business trip mm -hmm. to the West of Japan mm -hmm. and they bring the caddy and they receive the money mm -hmm. and the back. Something like that. Wow. And uh, after that, uh, my father's ages, mm. the economy going up again. Yeah. And uh, at that time, we uh, trade with the uh, major tea company. Mm -hmm. So, what they want is the quantity, not the quality. Oh. So we try to less steps mm. container mm -hmm. tea caddy to make a quantity. And that, that is my father's ages. And uh, after bubble economy was gone, mm -hmm. they don't need any quantity. So one day, uh, we trade with about three large, uh, like major tea company. Mm -hmm. One of them decided to, to not use our tea container. Mm -hmm. So that means that one third of the, our demand was gone yeah. in one day. So he, that's why he asked me mm -hmm. to go away from this business. I see. So he think traditional handicraft will extinct so. I see. Right. And also, mm -hmm. I, I realized it's, it's your father, the, the Seji san, mm -hmm. bring the business from a B2B because mm -hmm. traditionally your most of your business coming from mm -hmm. like tea shops mm -hmm. and uh, the companies. Mm -hmm. Then he decided to, to sell your tea caddies to no more population is sure. public. So it's that's B2C, the yes. major uh, swift from B2B to B2C. B2B to B2B to B2B. Sure. And today you're still selling like uh, tickets to, 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 to like a, a big company? We are still selling, but mm -hmm. the, uh, the percentage is very few. Oh, the percentage is different? Like Very, very few. Very few? Yes. I see. It used to be, it's kind of, you know, 80, 90 <laughs> percent. Now it's about less than 10%, like a 5% or something. I see. Because mm. you find maybe more and more normal population mm -hmm. start to appreciate those. And Kakado as a brand, mm -hmm. not, not as a supplier. Cool. So, what would you say that, because during these 144 years, mm -hmm. what stays the same in uh, the Kakado's uh, product? So you see. What, what stays the same unchanged? Because uh, definitely you are using and like every generation mm -hmm. brings something new to, mm -hmm. to the business. Like mm -hmm. your maybe grandfather mm -hmm. invented the, the copper mm -hmm. material and your father bring up the, the brass mm -hmm. and you having a different mm -hmm. mindset to do the business mm -hmm. more globally. Mm -hmm. So what stays the same in your family business? Actually the feeling the when feeling. you opt to tea container. Mm -hmm. And uh, we try to make the very good feeling when you open the tea container. Mm. Then, if the people feel it, people want to keep the precious things in it. Mm. That's why we try to make the good feeling in in this part. Yeah. And as, and on the same time, yeah. if it's very airtight, then as a result, mm. the the lid will gradually go down by itself. Yeah. We try to. You no, know, we we didn't try to make the lid goes down by itself. Mm. We make the good feeling and airtight. Yeah. Then as a result, it becomes like this. It's not a like deliberate design, it's just automatically, no, automatically. because it's fit, fit perfectly, so it goes down so smooth. Yes. And also that each generation has a different feeling. Mm. Like uh, in my grandfather's age, it's more, much tighter. Because uh, right now, if I pass this caddy to the younger generation, they try to grab like this. Yeah, so they won't open it. They can't open. Mm -hmm. If you grab only on the edges, you can't mm -hmm. open. Yeah. But the people doesn't know. So if the people grab like this, try to open it, uh, people can feel the good feeling. So try to do so. We try 
around this part, make it looser compared to my grandfather's ages. But just a little bit. Just a little, little bit. bit. But we try to make the d different feeling from the. We try to adjust the feeling oh. to the people right now. Something like a, uh, like a sweet shop. Uh, they try to adjust the sweetness mm. to the people right now. It's the same thing. That's a great metaphor. <laughs> <laughs> Mm, okay. And uh, as the sixth generation, so do you feel the pressure or what, what do you see the biggest challenge mm -hmm. for you to keep this family business going? And uh, which directions are you planning to take this Kakato to? Actually, my father asked me to go away. Yeah. So that means I have no pressure. They try to uh, stop business in his area. Yeah. So, actually, if something happened and if I had to quit the Kaikado, yeah. no problem for our, for our family. Yeah. So there is no pressure. Mm -hmm. But I have a pressure, like uh, I have a lots of you know, cross people working in my workshop. Yeah. So I have the responsibility for them. So that's the pressure for myself. How many people do you have in the... Oh, to, as a cross people, we have the eight. Cross eight. people yeah. and there like uh, some help us about six seven people having us mm -hmm. and in total about we are working about twenty people working in the Taikado mm -hmm. and in a, including our cafe yeah. it's going to be a thirty people working together. The cafe is very popular recently, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Cool. And is that your idea to making like to decide that the tikkadis are also. Are the containers for mm -hmm. coffee or for spaghetti? Kind of? Yes, because uh, people always told me mm. ah, we have to keep the precious tea. <laughs> That's kind of the you know high wall mm -hmm. for the people to use our carry. Mm -hmm. So I try to remove the kind of the high wall mm -hmm. to the people to use. So that's why I try to uh, the people feel like we can use anything. I see. And then I try to put uh, the spaghetti, I try to put the coffee caddy, beans, anything. Then people feel to flee to use anything. I see. Mm. But for the future, yeah. the people bring back 100 years old tea container right now. That mm. means people bring back 100 years old, uh, people bring back, people buy right now, they will bring back 100 years later. Yeah. So that means we have to continue same same uh, the tea container to make for the next 100 years. That's uh, all we have to do. Yeah. And also, we try to be small. If it's too big. What, what, is, what is your thought that you are so against like big productions? Cause mm. I mean, if it's too big, you know, mm. we have to make the business to maintain the company. So that's not the, the our... You, you don't want to make the business. No, I just want to continue the tea container making mm. for the next 100 years. But that. did you realize what thing, the current thing that you're doing, like you're um, uh, focusing on internationalization and uh, doing some uh, marketing stuff, more and more people would get to know Kakato from mm. miles away, thousand miles away. So the sales or the demand is kind of booming. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you keep the pro current production in the current size, how did you facing this kind mm -hmm. of condition? Because there is going to be a longer and a longer mm -hmm. waiting list. Yes. We just ask them, can you wait? <laughs> <laughs> then maybe if mm. you know, if just just an example. Mm. But if the people wants to wait to the next generation, maybe my next generation can maintain this business. Oh, so yes. if we become too big, you know, it will be falling down. Mm. If it's like a sim and long, we can. But well known in the world. I see. That's the things we would like to do. And you, you're not planning to involve any machines or any like a, like a, like a, you know water flowing mm. making process mm -hmm. just purely by hand and and you know everyone every single person who mm -hmm. works in your factory mm -hmm. you're like a friends or family yes so you know there is uh, a lot of essence mm. and a lot of atmosphere in a company yeah. that is a very important thing if it's too big we cannot. Tell yeah. everybody. I see. We try to, if it's like a family, mm. we can share the images, everything yeah. together without any words.